The Last Kingdom fans are gearing up for a fifth and final season in what will most definitely be an emotional roller coaster of a ride. It has been over a year since we last saw a season of The Last Kingdom being released, and with the fifth season being confirmed as the final season of the show, fans have a lot of questions. Let's take a look at the top questions fans have about the fifth season. Firstly, is the fifth season finished filming? The show was renewed for a a fifth season on July 7th, 2021. And while fans had hoped it wouldn't be the final season of the show, Netflix later confirmed the next year that there would be no more seasons of The Last Kingdom once the fifth one was concluded. Netflix only took over the show from its third season, but ever since then, fans have noticed that the quality of the show has dramatically increased, and it is now one of the most critically acclaimed shows of the network. The show would have been released by now had it not been for the COVID-19 pandemic. Filming and production were initially set to start in late 2020, but for obvious reasons it was delayed. In April of 2021, there were confirmed reports that the production and filming had officially begun and fans started to post pictures of the set online. On June 22, 2021, the official Twitter account for The Last Kingdom posted a tweet saying, it's a wrap on season 5, signaling that the filming had reached a conclusion and now all we have to do is wait. The show is currently in post-production, and with the amount of CGI it uses, it'll be in post for a while. But it's not a long wait now, and we finally see the show to be released in the spring of 2022. So, will the story see a conclusion in the fifth season? At this point, you're probably wondering how exactly the show will cram in all of the content of multiple books into a single season. Well, you have to take in the fact that the show doesn't really follow the books to a T. In the past four seasons, they've managed to cover a total of eight books, which makes it four books per season. That means that season five will be more than enough to cover all the events that happen in the next two books, but there are 13 books in total. How will they cover all of that? The only thing that is confirmed right now is that there will be a feature-length film that will be released on Netflix about a year after the release of the fifth season, which might cover aspects of the remaining books. While nothing is confirmed as of yet, what Netflix may try to do is condense three books into the fifth season by leaving out all the stuff that isn't essential to the plot. For the final two books, they may try to fit them both into one movie, or they may just release two separate movies for each book. Regardless of how they approach it, the showrunners have been fantastic at adapting the book so far, and we expect nothing less out of them for the remaining books that are yet to be covered. Will Edward Die? Edward was one of the main characters in introduced in the third season of the show, and whether you love him or hate him, he has definitely become an integral part of the show, and it would be difficult to see him leave. King Edward started to show signs that his health was declining right after his kingdom was brutally attacked by Sigtrigger. While Uhtred may have saved his kingdom and in turn Edward that day due to his excellent negotiating skills, the attack definitely left a toll on King Edward's health. Because of that, many fans believe that Edward will eventually die due to natural causes before the end of season 5, paving the way for his son Ethelstan to take over his throne. While seeing Ethelstan on the throne would be quite interesting, it would still be extremely sad to see Edward go if the rumors are true. Where is Uhtred's son? Uhtred has been the main character of The Last Kingdom for the past four seasons. Despite all of that, there are certain aspects of his life that we still don't know about completely. As far as we know, Uhtred has a total of four children. His first child was with Meredith, and that child died during the first season of the show. He later went on to have three children with Gisela, all of whom are alive. However, we only really get to see two of his living children on screen or be mentioned. Characters on the show kind of pretend like the fourth child doesn't even exist. There were jokes online that the show's writers forgot there was a fourth child, but that's likely not the case. It's highly unlikely that the child died somehow, since Uhtred would have definitely mentioned it at one point. This is why many fans are hoping that the fifth season of the show will finally reveal where Uhtred's child really is, why he isn't being mentioned, and how he'll be used in the story moving forward. Could Uhtred and Ethelfled make it work? Uhtred and Ethelfled have some of the most loving relationships out of all the couples on the show, and for good reason. The two seem almost perfect for each other in every way. However, in season 4, we saw a side of their relationship that fans of the couple 
hoped they would never see. Uhtred is eventually chosen as the ruler of Mercia, and as a result, he has to leave Aethelflaed behind to go rule his domain. Instead of doing that, Uhtred decides to decline the position and offer it to Aethelflaed instead. Aethelflaed promises Uhtred that she will remain chaste as the ruler of Mercia, leaving Uhtred in the process. Now the top question fans have in mind if the two will be able to make it work beyond this point. It would be extremely sad to see the two part ways like this, as it would be no different from Uhtred leaving Aethelflaed to rule Mercia in the first place. The fact that Uhtred gave up his position is a testament to how much he loved Aethelflaed. And this gives us all the more hope that the two will get back together one day. Will Aelswith finally die? While Aelswith isn't exactly the most loved character on the show, considering all the things she did in the first three seasons, she has had quite a redemption arc in season four. At the end of the day, she just wanted to protect Aethelstan and follow Alfred's dream, which is understandable from the character's perspective. However, Alfred's dream directly goes into conflict with Aethelhelm's dream, and Aethelhelm must make sure that Aelswith is out of the way to ensure his grandson sits on the throne eventually. At the end of season four, we see Aelswith suffering from something, although the show didn't make it clear what. We all know that she has likely been poisoned. Now this begs the question, will Aelswith survive at the start of season five, or will she just succumb to whatever hit her? It'll likely be revealed in the very first episode of the fifth season, but it's definitely one of the things fans are most looking forward to when the show actually airs. What will happen to Brita? Brita is another main character that has been around since the very first season of The Last Kingdom, and right around the end of the fourth season, we see her fail at trying to kill Uhtred. Uhtred ultimately decides to spare her life after the encounter upon realizing that she is pregnant, and he tells her to go and have her child. Now fans are wondering if Brita, where Brita's character would go from here. She's such an integral character that it would be impossible to see her just leave the show, but will she stop opposing Uhtred because of how he spared her life? Will she join forces with Uhtred, or will she just run away, never to be seen again? Will Uhtred get Bebenburg back? We've been waiting to see Uhtred finally get his birthright of ruling Bebenburg for a long time on the show, and at the start of season 4, hopes were high that he would end up accomplishing that goal, but alas, he wasn't able to. Uhtred launched an assault on King Edward's men to claim his rightful throne, but after his own cousin had a surprise counter up his sleeve, he was left helpless. Uhtred was forced to flee, and it seemed like it was all back to square one. It seems like, for now, Uhtred has given up on the prospect of ruling Bebenburg, but his children continue to hope that the kingdom will be theirs once again. So now, all fans are wondering is if Uhtred will be able to recover from the loss and launch another assault of Bebenburg. All he really really needs to accomplish this is the right men, and more importantly, motivation. Whether he'll be able to do that remains to be seen. That's a wrap for questions fans have for The Last Kingdom Season 5. What are you most excited about in the fifth season? Let us know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. See you in the next one.